Hello and welcome back. In this video I will show how you can install RabbitMQ. RabbitMQ is a queue system. It's uh, when, when you want to uh, push a lot of logs, if you like have a 1 million logs and you want to store somewhere, but the, the store database is, doesn't have the power to handle it right away and you only push the 1 million. Uh, once a time, uh, every hour. It could be some some reason very uh, very nice to have uh, a queue system on work. We use it uh, a lot, so I think maybe you can use it too. So in this video, I will show how you can install a Rabbit MQ server. First, you need to to add the key to the app get. It's here. Remember to run it as a sudo when it's uh, added. You need to the GitHub key to the to the repository, so it will accept for the app get. When you have this done, you need to add the the report the, res, the repository uh, to your source file. So when you use app get, it's knowing where you want to install it from and uh, which version you need to use and yeah you know if you use app get install htop or something else it's here and then we can use sudo app update and sudo app desktop create i just want to install the newest package before we install rapidmq server And here we want to say app install rabbitmq server and we say yes you can use the space and it can take a little uh, little time to do. After this we want to start rabbitmq. Sometimes I, ex uh, I can see it have problems to start after I install. I will try to do it now. Okay, now it's working. Perfect. You can see the status, it's run. So now we want to add the plugins. We can use it to I need this away. Yes. Away, clear. So do uh rabbit MQ. So uh, the plugins enable rabbit MQ many match. This plugin is the plugin where you can use the BIP interface. So let's see here. If you run it here, you can see it. Nope. I need to see it's the right IP address here. 24 should be here. Uh, no, it's not working. Okay, let's continue. So do rabbit restart. Normally, it doesn't need to restart the rabbit, but I will try. Taking a little time, I don't like it. Something is wrong here. I just reboot the server and then I want the new putty. I will be ready here. When it's up and running. 
something is not running as it should be. Okay, I just killed the VM. Turn off, start again. And now it's starting up. It should be ready just a minute. This stuff always happens for me. Let's see about this. Nope. Rabbit and no. That's a little bit weird. Try again. Okay, now it's here. I've definitely installed it wrong. I'm so sorry. The next will be, you will have a guest account, but we want to remove it, so the first we want, it's say, uh, sudo rabbitnqctm, add user, it's my name, Paris, and password will be 123456. Now the user is added, I want to say rabbit again, and set user Tags Paris admin straighter, and then I need to say rabbit set permissions p slash Paris. Here we go. This, and if I log in with my Parish account here, and then we go inside. I'll say never and never. And remember this URL, it's the default port for RabbitMQ web management, and this is my IP address to my virtual machine. I want to remove the guest account, so click on element. Click on guest and then delete the user and it's gone. Now I'm the only user back for RabbitMQ and now I'm ready to use my virtual machine and my queue. Thank you for watching. I hope you want to subscribe my channel. If you want, you can make a comment below, you can like my video and share on, on the internet. So again, I hope you want to subscribe and thank you for watching. See you next time for the next tech video.